how does management expect productivity when engineers are in meetings most of the day? I don't understand, you know. Um, at my last job, I was it was so hard to get others to help me out in my own team because they were stuck in meetings all day. You know, when I ask somebody for help, they go, well, I can help you next week because <laughs> I'm stuck in meetings. I'm going, well, wait a minute. I, I need help now. I don't need next week. And maybe that's why, you know, projects at this company took, you know, probably four or five times longer than they really should have taken. Is And one of the reasons was because, you know, many of the developers uh, were stuck in meetings most of the day. Now, luckily, I wasn't stuck in a lot of these because they know that won't go well for me. So they only invited me to the meetings that I had the most value of uh, learning something from. But um, I just see this all the time. And, and, and you know, every developer I've talked to this about complains about this. So why isn't this getting better? Um, at my last job, at least this is the way it worked the last year I was on the, on this contract is I had a minimum unproductive meetings a week of six hours. Yes. Six hours of unproductive meetings every week where I, it was basically almost useless for the projects I was working on. If you add in the context switching and I know context switching varies on how old you are, but now you're talking at least eight and a half hours a week, of just wasted. So we're already, so before I start the week, I'm already a day behind, right? And, and, and you know, it's not going to get better from there, right? And, and I'm totally serious. These are, these are just the normal meetings I had all week. If other meetings got assigned to me, then this course's number would go up a lot, right? But this is just the normal um, scrum meetings, uh, team meetings we had each week. Um, and our one-on-one -on -one meetings with our boss. And with six hours of meetings, you know, my former boss still didn't know what we were doing. You know, more meetings isn't the answer, right? Is you know, if you don't know what people are doing, more meetings isn't the answer. And uh, because I was thinking about this this morning is, you know, meetings, you know, don't create features, you know, no salesman goes and, and goes out to uh, companies and go, well, our product's better because, you know, our people have 15 hours of meetings a week. <laughs> you know, this doesn't, it what doesn't work like this. This meetings is not a selling point for your product, right? The product is kind of like unit, uh, unit tests. They're a necessary evil to make good quality products, right? So um, at this company, I kind of started talking about you know, we would have these long, drawn-out two-hour meetings, which I I, I called merry-go-round meetings because we would sit in a meeting for two hours and go round and round and round, and we'd leave the meeting, nothing happened, right? So we just completely wasted two hours of everybody's time. And if you if you have ten people in a meeting, you know, at, at my salary or even higher, when you have managers, right? Um, that's a lot of money wasted every for two hours a lot of money and you're not getting work done you're just sitting there you know waiting to get the heck out of the meeting right and um and one meeting i was in with an architect once at the same job where i was in this meeting and every question i was asking the manager not my manager but another manager the dev um, the data manager every single question i asked her her comment was, well, the right person's not in the room. The right person's not in the room. The right person's not in the room. And I finally stood up and said, okay, I'm leaving. Let me know when the right people are in the room. And I left. And the architect followed me. And we go outside and the architect said, so Dave, what do you think about that meeting? And I said, well, if I had a gun right now, I'd shoot myself because I, I can't believe I was invited to that meeting uh, of just nothing happening. Another merry-go-round meeting at this place. I could complain about this all day, you know, and one of my good friends, um, Woody Zoll, who will be speaking at the Code Quality Conference um, in two weeks, he said and some, something very similar, similar to this uh, to me uh, one time. And if engineers are regularly working eight hours a day, there is a problem, right? And when my, and when my teammates are so stressed out that quality suffers because they're being forced to work overtime 
because they're stuck in meetings all day to get their work done, there is a problem, right? You have to look at it. At the same company I'm complaining a lot about, at one point when I was working there, they realized they were doing too many meetings. So they came up with this not very brilliant idea and they said, let's have no meeting Wednesdays, right? And and so with every Wednesday, nobody can schedule meetings, right? That lasted like two weeks and we and the whole company slid back to the old merry-go-round meetings and so nothing happened. But um, I got tons of these stories, but we're out of time. So if you're going to call a meeting and I I don't remember the last time a meeting was actually organized like this, make sure all stakeholders are in the meeting, right? All of them. Because if you can't get decisions made in the meeting, why are you having a why are you having a meeting, right? Make a plan. This is something I haven't seen in many, many years. Make a plan for the meeting, an outline of what's going to be discussed, and put it in the calendar event and stick to that plan, right? If you don't get through everything, then do another meeting. But don't extend that one and don't try to cram too much into one because that's not going to help either, right? Every meeting should have meeting notes. You know, there should be meeting notes and action items out of every single meeting. You know, using SharePoint or something similar makes this super, super easy, right? But again, I don't remember the last time someone actually did this, right? So those are my four things. I, I Besides decreasing the number of meetings you're having, to increase your productivity, make sure you have good structured meetings just like you need to have good structured quality code. Meetings need to be the same way.